Name your favorite dinosaur. Velociraptor. All right. If you were a chick, who's the one guy you would sleep with? John Samos. What? Did we just become best friends? What's up, everyone? Welcome to episode 26 of Did We Just Become Best Friends podcast, where we talk about movies, sports, video games, and whatever else is trending in the world. You can find us on all social media platforms at Did We Just Become Best Friends podcast or DWJ BBF podcast. You can also call or text us at 872-225-2404. If you leave a good enough message, you might hear yourself on the next episode. We always appreciate kind reviews, subscriptions, ratings. Hit that sub button. Hit those bell notifications. You guys know what to do with all that stuff. My name is Anthony, and I am with uh, Mr. Comic, Marvel Comic Alfredo. And we are going to discuss the holiest of holy weekends for the nerds. Uh, <laughs> San Diego Comic Con 2019. Mm-hmm. So I've been I've been following it pretty well over the the past few days. Today today was day number four for people watching live. Uh, last night was uh what was it Marvel? So we'll mm-hmm. get into that later. Then Marvel, being Marvel, stole the show, stole Comic Con. You know, you know. So we'll talk about them later. Um, so have you ever been to like a comic convention or anything like that? Like in Chicago? Actually, no, I actually haven't. Uh, the last time I was ever near a comic con, I actually was picking you up when I Ubered. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, I mean, that's, that was been a while ago. However, um, the 27th and 28th here in, um, in the suburb, Lockport, there's going to be a comic opolis. But uh, I'm looking forward to that actually. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm thinking about just going out there, maybe with the same getup. Who knows? <laughs> and going Deadpool. But yeah, I'm Marvel shirt. Yeah. Yes, sir. I got a Deadpool shirt that says tacos on it. Nice. So that's pretty cool. But um, that's the way to go. Yes, it is. Um, yes, I agree that Marvel, they have every right to, you know, take everything out, take it out by storm. But like you said, we'll get to that shortly. Yeah, yeah. So there's there's there is a lot of things non Marvel related that were announced. Um, uh, one of the coolest things I put up on uh, on our Facebook page was the Harley Quinn trailer preview. It's like yeah. a it's like a hard R cartoon. Uh, Harley Quinn is voiced by uh, Kaylee Co- Coco. I think her name is the girl from uh, Big Bang Theory. And at first okay. I'm like, oh, really? And I'm, I hear it. I'm like, I see it. I see it. I, it fits her pretty well. Like, she, you know, and it's the good for me. It's the good uh, Harley Quinn. You know, she's calling uh, um, Joker like, you know, dickhead hits him in the nuts. You know, it's like that uh, that new Harley Quinn that's over, you know, being abused by Joker. <laughs> so, yeah, check yeah. that out on our on our Facebook page. That one uh, that one's pretty good. Uh, you know, what else? Is, huh? Go ahead. Real, real quick, I read something a while ago, and I, it's floating out there on the internet because, of course, everything else is. There was something that a story came up that Batman is not actually Batman. It's Bruce Wayne gone crazy after he saw his parents get assassinated. And, like, all these characters, like the Penguin, Joker, Harley Quinn, they're it's either the Doctor, or the Penguin is of a bird that he named it the Penguin because it looked like it. Harley Quinn, uh, the Joker, was um, like a, a, a psychiatrist or a therapist. Yeah. Um, that's interesting where it's like um, what, 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 like that one show, Wicked. Yeah. You know, it's the other side of – or ah, it's actually, they made a movie about it. It's the other side of why she wants those red shoes, the witch, uh-huh. one of those red shoes. So that's a different point of view. So now, if this is actually true, I wonder if Marvel or someone out there, maybe, you know, uh, DC Comics, will make a movie like, hey, you know what? We will make this movie with this spin at the very end where people will be like, oh, my God, that makes sense. You know, I've, I've heard it before. I don't know if it's if it's based off a book or not, but I, I've heard that uh, a few different places. I don't I don't know if they would go with that they should that would be pretty cool but i don't know it if that's be. a fan theory or if it's an actual book i mean if any of the listeners know you know please leave a comment on you know so we can figure it out 
Um, I'm looking it up right now. It says it's it's kind of a uh, a fan theory right now. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So yeah, that that'd be cool. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, there's there was a comic book that I read where uh they tried cloning Batman, um after he like died, or quote unquote, you know, mm-hmm. um and they couldn't they couldn't clone him because his psyche was so crazy that all the clones went crazy because they they couldn't handle all the mental stress that 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 batman and bruce wayne have so that was pretty cool that was the blackest night thing because there's a Mm -hmm. batman that that comes from like undead and he's all crazy and you find out like oh they're trying to make clones of him that's why like the one that they buried is crazy because that's what was the it was pretty cool so i mean it makes sense i I can definitely see something i don't know if they would make it a movie dc is weird with their movies man maybe an animated movie would be cool animated movie would be great just like the uh spider-verse yeah one that that was actually pretty cool. That was nice. Oh, dude, that's I, like I, one of my the, favorite. The graphics, the the animation, all, all of that it was fantastic. Yeah, I'm like, wow, it's it's un- breathtaking. It's oh, new. Yeah. It was something new, like Pixar. How Pixar first came out, and everybody was like, oh my god, that's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> this this had like a 3D effect. I'm, I'm wondering if you have 3D glasses, it would actually work. I heard it was pretty good in 3D. Um. But yeah, it had it was uh they they copyrighted that uh that animation format. It looks like very mm-hmm. comic booky, you know, the, the little yes, dots and does. stuff like that, which is really cool. I know they copyrighted it because like no one else has has done it before. Um, so I don't know what else was going on with DC. They didn't um, they I didn't hear too much going on with them. Uh, they renewed the Titans, you know, for another one. They renewed uh, um, what's that one? I forgot the name. Uh, a bunch of stuff on their DC w- streaming site. They they did Doom Patrol. There you go. Which I heard is pretty good. You know, Titans, Harley Quinn. You know, stuff like that, which is cool. That's all I really heard. People were bitching that they wanted a. Uh, um, what was it? Oh man, I just I just had it and I just lost it. They uh, oh they wanted a Zack, a Zack Snyder um, um, Batman or Justice League version. That was like the biggest thing. Like, oh, they should release it right now. It'll be awesome. Like, yeah, they're not gonna. Release it. <laughs> um, but yeah. So going on to other stuff. Uh, The Witcher, the first trailer for The Witcher with uh, Henry Cavill as as Gerald. Um, man, that looks good. I guess it's based more off the books than the video game, though. So okay, if, you know, and the video game has changed a lot. Um, but yeah, so it's more based off the the books, which are like classic books. Um, so that looks pretty cool, you know, and it shows him like drinking the potion. He has the potion eyes, so he's all crazy looking. Um, that's pretty cool. I don't know if you ever played Witcher. No, no, I'm not actually. No, it's, no. Yeah, don't. It's 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 kind of like uh, <laughs> don't. <laughs> don't. I mean, it's a ama- it's an amazing game, but it's also like the World of Warcraft where you you can't stop. And what you start a mission and you go <sighs> to a town, and then there's fifty side missions. Yeah, you know, and then fifty side That's, missions to those fifty side. You know, it's and it's just it's never ending, and it's just like fuck. I just want to go with the story, but then you just get caught up with all the side stories, and man, so yeah, it's it's very very um addicting, very addicting to play. Was, but it yeah. is amazing. It is a really I, really good game. People are still I playing want, it. I I wouldn't be able to pull a whole eighteen nineteen hour shift on playing that. <laughs> Yeah, I did it once with Warcraft. I don't think that's in me to be able to pull that again. Nah, mm. that's that's th- those days are behind us. Oh yeah, that's especially nice. this old guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else was going on? Oh, so uh, the one trailer that's kind of freaking people out is Cats. So mm-hmm. I I know I texted you yesterday. I don't know if you get a chance to watch the trailer or not. There, there's are there's so many memes already about this movie, and it has like a star-studded cast. Jennifer Hudson's in it. Um, Taylor Swift, Idris Elba, um, that late host, that late night host, British guy. I can't remember his name. Uh, James Corgan, I think. Is it? Mm-hmm. Jim Corgan, whatever. Him, a bunch of other people, some new people, and uh, it's it's the musical, but. The pictures of the people that are actually cats—they're not wearing costume. It's like CGI, 
and it's freaking scary it is like <laughs> it's it's like you look at it, you're like man that's some scary stuff right there man that's like freaky looking because it's like a cat standing up with a face a human face and it's just like because in, in, in on broadway i, I seen it i seen um I seen it before, like I, like I had, a, I was like kind of forced to in, in elementary school, and they actually show cats like the well, the, the Broadway musical, the Broadway or musical it is. cats, yeah. yeah. You know, it's it's they're in costumes, so it looks kind of cool. This one, it, it's with the CGI where the face blends perfectly with mm-hmm. the bodies of the cat, and everything is like in the perspective, in the like the sizing of the cat. So the doors are really big, the furnitures are big because they're the size of cats, but. Oh man, that is some that is some scary, scary stuff. <laughs> I'm 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 what looking heck, for man. I'm looking I'm looking Yeah that like No yeah, I'll I'll find it. I'll have to Yeah, this type in like cats twenty nineteen trailer or whatever. Oh okay. man. Ooh. It's it's <laughs> <laughs> it's so kind of creepy, man. The I I the one do, one thing I do say is Jennifer Hudson was kind of weird looking. You know, I don't know, I don't know, because it's it's just it's just weird. It's because it's the face and it everything just blends, and it's uh, yeah. And then somebody I think somebody put it like, why are their tails coming out of their butthole <laughs> instead of like you know as an extension of their spine? It's like it looks like the tails are coming out of their butthole. And people, people are like losing it. Oh, sorry. Oh. sorry, sorry, sorry. What was that you were watching? Oh. The... <laughs> no, I, I just put it. Yeah, I just put it on. I'm just like, <laughs> it's just, I'm looking at some of the trailer as we. What the hell? It does look like it's coming out of the bottom. Yeah, oh, I see what you're saying. It's it's some scary stuff. Yeah. So if you're listening, Google that right now because that is uh, that is nightmare fuel, man. I'm not even. I'm not even exaggerating it. <laughs> that is Dude. that is scary. But there, there's so many memes already. Oh god, there's so many memes, and it's okay. The memes so, are so they're not actual costumes. It's just like computer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm, I'm assuming they're all wearing like freaking, you know, uh, like green suits, the whatever, green suits. The one with the bats. Yeah, and dots all over their face and all that stuff. I'm assuming that's probably what it is. Can you imagine all these like? There's a robot. Is it? Oh. I hear. The, I hear it. Yeah. Again. Yeah. Yep. Everything. Everything. Froze. It froze. Fuck. So annoying. And it was good all weekend. Today is acting like a dickhole. Hudson's in it. Yeah. Ian Jennifer, McKellen. Jennifer Hudson's in it. Uh, there's a there's a lot a lot a lot a lot of famous people in it, man. This Wilson, people. what was it? Rebo Wilson? Yeah, Re- Rebel, Rebel Wilson from uh, the British girl from the singing uh, yeah. movie. Yeah. I mean, she's been in a lot of other stuff, but that's the that's the biggest one. Yeah, she's that's in so it. cool. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of good cool people in it. Can you imagine though, like all these like famous actors and good singers and like Jennifer Hussman won an Academy Award, you know, like Grammy winners and they're all running around in like green suits. <laughs> we're we're on <laughs> spending I, I, Yeah, I see we're good. We're on now, what are the odds of this movie's gonna bomb? Oh, pretty much it's gonna bomb. Who okay, raise your hand. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's gonna bomb. I'm, I'm looking at this. It does look kind of interesting. I'm someone who you know this. I, I really don't like musicals, and um, it, it's something I'm curious to see how bad it's gonna bomb. Just to go, I, I think. Uh, what is it gonna be? An hour and a half, two hours of my life, and might never get back again. Probably, probably. You know what? That's better than just you know. I mean. <laughs> Yeah, musicals never translate into good, um, good movies, like like Broadway musicals. Like, it could be awesome, awesome, amazing Broadway musicals. They never really translate well onto the big screen. You know, something something's lost. You know, I think in in it. You know, but you know what's lost? Imagination, because I I I think a lot of books or musicals. Anything from books to movies, 
is the its imagination is lost a big part of it because you're actually visually seeing it instead of in the book it says a certain way then your brain your imagination is like okay i can picture it this way or that way what type of color green robe or red dress is it you know yeah in in the movies actually it takes that away from you and it gives you what you're actually gonna just see it just gives you the image yeah but um yeah they're, they're, they take a lot of bit away you know like the harry potter books everything was changed on there uh, yeah, and those, some of them still amazing movies though oh yeah I, I i'm not taking that yeah. away i'm not taking that away at all it's just i think more musicals, i, I get like, what you're saying because musicals you have to have that imagination you know like mm-hmm. they're doing their singing and stuff and there's like some of the stuff and they never do well cats i mean i wasn't a big fan of cats anyway i thought it was like yeah. a stupid musical i mean but people i know love it um so yeah uh say so we're asking somebody's asking about lion king i am not probably gonna see it i don't know if you're gonna see it i really don't the movie the movie the actually, new one coming out actually i do want to see it i, I want to see that one more i am more excited and geared towards lion king than i am with aladdin oh no aladdin was amazing this one this one is uh it's considered rotten on rotten tomatoes there's so many people saying it's like first of all they took away the best song in the entire movie the um the scar song uh-huh they took it away it's not there hmm. you know and then people the biggest thing people are saying that you can't have a you know quote real lion like make facial expressions like when mufasa dies you know like the cat's supposed to look sad but yet he's a, like a cat a real cat you know quote because it's, and that is another thing that pisses me off. It's not live action. Live action means it is actual live people or live something. It's all computer generated. It's just fancy CGI, you know, movie. It's not live action. It's so lifelike, it, but it's not live. Right. Live action is something like what? The, the Speed, Racer, Speed Racer movie. Yeah. Or the Aladdin. Aladdin right. was live action because it was oh, oh, people. Right. And this is more CGI yeah. somewhere in a. Well, the realms of what uh, Avatar, with yeah. the big blue, yeah, right? Yeah. Is that considered live action? No. Well, I, it's a movie because there are actual people in it, and then they become avatars, and then they kind of go in between. But a lot of the world, the world itself was CGI, so it was filmed on the big screen. You know, right, because like it, you, live action could have multiple definitions or bullet points underneath, and if it qualified for one or two or more of that. Then I guess they have every right to call it that. But it was Maybe like, in the future it'd be considered yeah. a different category besides live action or uh, live action will work. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just making shit up right now. Yeah. I don't know, but I'm. But yeah, I'm looking forward to looking at uh, Lion King. You're gonna see it. I'm. I'm probably yeah. not. I. I really don't care. I seen how it was supposed to. Because then another thing that really upsets me. I, I've been wanting to make a post on it. I've just been really lazy. Where people were like, "Oh, I'm glad they brought back James Earl Jones." Like, why? Then go go watch the original if you want to listen to all the original stuff. You know what I mean? Some and then somebody I saw somebody's like, oh, I wish they would have brought you know it would have been cool if they brought back Jonathan Taylor Thomas. I was like, why? No one no one knows who that is anymore. <laughs> you know, it was like like all oh, this. For those brought- of you who don't, if the, for those of you who don't know, it's a little kid from what Home Improvement. Yeah, he was, was like it? a teen heartthrob, you know, back in the nineties. Yeah. You know, it was no, like maybe- oh, they should have brought back Matthew Broderick. I'm like. But if you think of, if you think about it, it, James Earl Jones is one of the like the key monster actors out there. It, it's along the lines with, you know, um, how people got excited when they brought back Optimus Prime actual voice versus someone who pretended to be Optimus Prime. It's almost the same thing. People get stoked on it. This is yeah, you know, me personally, I'm happy that they brought back James Earl Jones for that. Why though? Go wa- go watch the '90s version. That's better. Okay, I understand you know, it's like, better, but we can't really judge that if we haven't gave the new one a chance. I would think I would be more disappointed because now, but you then, know, then, uh, if, Earl if, Jones, Earl Jones is one of the key parts of that movie. No, he he's made, not. Mufasa was. Okay, right. But, but Mufasa could be voiced by you or me or anybody. Would you be happy if I was voiced as Optimus Prime? If you, know how to, if you if you were a good voice actor, or you're trying to be a voice actor. That's fine. If they they could have got who I don't know who's got a deep voice in like movies right now. I'm trying to think. 
Um, you? <laughs> yeah. They could have got a what's the um um the the science guy that's kind of really big right now, Neil deGrasse Tyson. They could have Neil deGrasse Tyson play Mufasa. Cool, whatever. I don't care because why are you making a remake? And all you're doing is changing the graphics. All you're doing is changing the graphics. If you want Jonathan Taylor Thomas, Matthew Broadwick, if you want like uh, um, Billy Billy Crystal to come back, I was like, then go watch the original. Go watch the original. Because the post I was going to be like, oh, I'm glad they brought back Earl James or whatever. They should have brought back so-and-so and so-and-so. You know what? They should have brought back the animators too. It was like, <laughs> go watch the original movie. And, and then uh, and instead of like the remake, the, yeah. the newer thing. Yeah. I There's mean, like, right now, nowadays, kids, you know, when we were kids, we were stoked about cartoons. You know, look at me. I saw The Little Mermaid in the theater, what, uh, last year, I yeah. think it was. I can't remember how far how long ago. Kids don't want to see that anymore. So they want times change. That's not now, necessarily. Well, yeah, if you think about it, who's going to want to sit and play an 8-bit game versus they could be on the PS4, X, 360X, or, no, or yeah. I'm not sorry. You I know, get that. It, it's, it's almost in that general, it's almost in that same realm where they are so custom of one way, not the other. Because if they want to remake and make things better for the modern children because but i don't think that's kid, not what they're doing they're, it's, it's it's a cash well, grab well you're gonna well, go see it because right, you remember that's, that's how emotional it made you well okay i agree with you the cash grab remember all the movies we saw i didn't realize um the stars born was remade like five times yeah, three times so i mean okay it's the same thing it's just they put the modernizations in there with the modern technology to keep the people coming. It's almost the exact same thing. James Earl Jones is one to me and to Hollywood is one main key person because yes, Mufasa had a small part and Mufasa yes, had a huge part. He was a well, major part. But he was but, right, but he wasn't there. The extent of it, he had a few uh -huh. lines. He was there in the beginning, and then he dies, and then like seventy percent of the movie was nothing but Simba. Now, even though he had that small role, it was huge, huge. They had to bring him back just for that. So, like, hey, I don't, I don't, I don't. I, don't. I, I, I like the fact that they brought him back just to keep it tried with the original. Yes, I agree, Jonathan Thomas. You know, or you know, whoever was in that cast, yeah, they're they're gonna do. They're gonna put the newer, upcoming people, maybe with you know, uh, uh, less payroll. You know, well, I mean, everything. Freaking budget. Beyonce in this movie, they, right? They, Beyonce, they Beyonce is huge. Yeah. Who who's who's huger than Beyonce right now? The, what Hudson? She's probably a close third. I didn't. I see, but then why not bring back the person who originally played Nala? Yeah, Who's that it, person? Exactly, but it's like so why, you no could have got somebody bigger than James Earl Jones. You could have got somebody because the only people who remember James Earl Jones are me and you. People in their late twenties, thirties, kids, right. kids now don't give two shits who it is. That right, of so course, it's pandering to like you. Us, people like us are me, like with people in our age group that remembers James Earl Jones. That have children. That hey, kids, let's go watch this for me. It'll throw back memory lane and liking that movie when I was a kid when I saw it on VHS so many years ago. For them, they'll see it, the animation, the graphics, the the live action, everything will be there. So they'll try to enjoy it. So that's how they get it. It's that hook. For the adults that have the money to bring the child into the movie theater, the hook is James Earl Jones. Same thing with Optimus Prime. They bring them in. Little kids, they had no idea what the hell what Transformers were until the movie started to come out. Oh yeah. What brought it what brought them out? Generation like ours will remember the original voice of Optimus Prime that made that cartoon huge. Brought out the little children. So now the little children wants it. They like it. They want the toys. They want the trucks. They want all that. Yeah, but the movie the movies suck. But the, the critics the critics do not like Lion King. They're like you know it looks it, it the, the best thing they, they said the, the I tell you, they said the voice actors are amazing they said the voice actors are amazing which I'm like yeah you got like huge actors to play, to play you know like Seth Seth um what's his name Seth Rogan playing Pumbaa that's not too far of a stretch anyway you know 
<laughs> you know, but you know, but they said that was the the issue was like it looks amazing, but then when you have to have these animals have emotion, there's no emotion. So you see Simba or you hear Simba crying, but then you just see a cat. <laughs> you know, it's like cool. Where in the cartoon, you were able to make his eyes big, his watery. He had that face of sadness. It's it's right. you can't do things. You can't you can't do things with lifelike you know animal you know right so i mean uh, i i I agree the critics have their own job and they're experts in that i think you know opinions are like assholes everyone (laughs) has them you know you might like it i don't just like the aladdin i haven't seen aladdin i want to but i really kind of don't you know same thing with you because the lion king is james Earl jones i kind of don't want to see aladdin because they got will smith i like will smith I don't know. I thought it was gonna be garbage because uh, a Will black Smith. guy dressed up as a blue genie. I'm I'm not sure. <laughs> you know, it, I mean, I, I'm, for I, me, I, it's I gotta know. be it's gotta be enough different where like okay, it's still the same story, but a little things have changed. Where mm-hmm. and it did, you know, there was a few new songs in Aladdin. Same thing with Jungle Book. There was it was a little bit different, but it followed the same beats. This one, people are like, it's like word for word, and then you take away all the good parts. Like people were upset that Be Prepared was not in the movie. Hmm. Like, Interesting. Upset, which is like, hands down, the best yeah, song I, on the movie. That, the movie. That, that's, that's not a good. All right. They, well, uh, they, ha- they have to keep it up. <laughs> all right. Maybe we should watch The Lion King this week and then come back and talk next week. Yeah. All right. So let's get back on track. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I saw a comment and got sidetracked on. He was Lion King, and then that was it. All right, so we'll, we'll, we'll cut into the. <laughs> this is why we really read comments. <laughs> oh, exactly. Squirrel. So we'll, we'll cut. We'll, yeah, exactly. we'll cut into the Marvel. only important thing that mattered at at Comic Con anyway. So Marvel had missed the past two Comic Cons. They were not there for the past two years. They didn't need to be there. They're like, you already know what's coming out. You're gonna, you know, lose your mind anyway. And you know, people did. Um, <laughs> and then as this weekend rolled in. Um, Infinity War or not Infinity War? Uh, Endgame has overtaken Avatar as the highest grossing worldwide, worldwide movie. Yeah, yep. which is funny because I'm going to see it again tomorrow. <laughs> I'm just really? like, yeah, I had five dollars off a movie ticket, and then it was like, you want to see Lion King or Endgame? Endgame. So we're going to see Endgame again. So how many times is this? Uh, this will be my f- third or fourth time. Yeah, I believe we saw it four times in four weeks. Did you? Geez. Yeah, I told yeah. you about that. That yeah, and Captain yeah, Marvel. Captain Marvel, yeah. Um, so they announced 10 freaking projects over the next two years. 2020, what? 2021. Wait, wait, wait. 3, 6, 9, 10, 11. I'm, I'm looking at it now, right now. I got it. Um... I don't see 10. Okay. Well, there's one without a date. Oh, yeah, there's that one. Yeah, I know which one. That one that doesn't have a date. Yeah, there's that one. But we'll get in we'll we'll talk about the, the dated stuff and then we'll talk about the the future cuz th- right now they announced phase 4. So phase 4 is going to take over the next 2 years. Phase 5 nice. is going to be from 2022 to wh- whatever they decide. Um Okay. So we'll so go, what's we'll go, first? We'll go straight down the list. The first one coming out May twenty, May first, twenty twenty, Black Widow. Um, so it's supposed to go on in between Civil War, but before Infinity War. So before Thanos, after the whole breakup of Cap and, and Iron Man, I, th- I think that's what they said, or something like that. So yeah. it looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Or was it after? No, after Civil War, but before. Yeah, something like that. I don't know. Um, so it's a prequel to everything before you know she does what gets done in Endgame. I don't know if you haven't seen it yet. <laughs> Where anybody, has it, man? Whoever <laughs> hasn't seen it that's been out in the past like few months. <laughs> um. So yeah. So that's coming out. A uh, few cool people. Taskmaster's gonna be the main bad guy. Uh, the uh, sheriff guy from Stranger Things. He's gonna be Red Guardian. So he's gonna be in the movie yeah. too, which is pretty cool. Um, Scarlett Johansson, obviously, too. So, mm-hmm. yeah, it's set up to be a prequel, which is cool. Nice. Uh, so, next, in the fall of 2020, Disney Plus. So, Disney Plus is going to be their streaming service. 
that they're mm-hmm. having, right? So the first uh, mini series is going to be the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And this one's supposed to be follow uh, them two together and the Falcon becoming Captain America, basically, right. or, or replacing him. You know, you know, and what was cool, Anthony Mackie and uh, the guy, I forgot his name. Um, the guy, Sebastian, Sebastian Bach, uh, Bach, I think. Or is that the uh, artist? I, the, I think that's the, 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 <laughs> the point from Poison <laughs> or whatever. Skid Row, hmm. Skid Row. Um, that's funny. Yeah, so what, Sebastian something. It is Sebastian, but they, they, he, they come out and uh, Anthony Mackie was holding the Captain America shield, which was pretty awesome. That's sweet. So it's supposed to be him becoming Captain America. And they already have, I guess, his suit. Like his new Falcon America suit, which would be pretty cool. Nice. Uh, so that's coming out on Disney Plus. So the next movie era would be November 2020. Uh, it would be the Eternals. So the Eternals mm-hmm. is a a way, way, way beginning of time prequel. <laughs> so it's basically set <coughs> with these immortals, and uh, Salma Hayek is is in it. Camille Nanjiani's in it. Uh, a bunch of other guys. Angelina Jolie was finally confirmed to be in it. And they're these, like, god-like creatures from way, 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 way back in the beginning of time. You know, it was like, did they create the Infinity Stones? Did they use the Infinity Stones? I don't know. It's, it, it's going to be pretty cool, though. A lot of CGI. Wait. Angelina Jolie. Angelina Jolie is in it. The one where, like, seven adopted kids used to be yeah. married to Brad Pitt. Yeah. She's in it. Oh, God. Yeah. That was the rumor for a long time, and then they finally did confirm it uh, this week. And Sam Hayek as well, which is pretty awesome. She hasn't been in anything lately. Mm -hmm. So that's coming out. That's going to be the end of 2020. You're going to have three, two movies and uh, a TV show, 2020. So February. The last last movie Sam Hayek was in was uh, Sasha Party, I believe. She was at Taco. Yeah. Lesbian Taco. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Well, I mean, would it be considered lesbian if you're a taco and she was eating out the dog, dude? The but they food. How can you say food is a lesbian? Was, <laughs> as a, dog, as a was, was, was the bun a female? Uh, I, I mean, yeah. There we go. <laughs> but yeah, that was funny. <laughs> anyway, that movie, that movie going. All right, so February <laughs> we went from Marvel to Sausage Party. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so uh, February. 2021 uh it's called shang shang chi shang chi and the uh, legend of the ten rings so this is gonna be cool i don't know i didn't read too much about it all they said was the real mandarin is gonna be in this movie and i remember oh, wow. from uh iron man, iron man number two? two they had uh, uh who was it uh king uh ben kingsley was yeah. you know the mandarin and then they had a little short film or short thing after you know, a little short film that came out when he was in jail and it said like oh the real mandarin's not happy you're using his name you know so they're you know they're finally gonna announce the real mandarin which would be cool i thought the real mandarin was to do that made himself hot no no he was just another bad guy he wasn't he he hmm. was the guy behind the fake Mandarin, but he wasn't the real Mandarin because the real Mandarin, you know, I don't know if you remember from the cartoon and stuff. <laughs> he was just like the magic from the rings and shit like that. He has like all these rings on his finger. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. So it's it's gonna be very kung fu y and stuff like that. It's gonna be pretty uh pretty cool. Uh. So that's that's coming out February twenty one, and now spring twenty twenty one. Back on Disney Plus, it's called WandaVision. So it it's revolves around Scarlet Witch, Wanda, and Vision, you know, the robot guy. And it revolves around them. And I, it's another miniseries. I, I think they said like six or eight episodes. And that whole series is going to revolve around them too. I guess it's going to be pretty dark and not where she gets her name, Scarlet Witch. And... It's supposed to be pretty cool, very comic booky from what what people were saying um, about it. But that is going to lead in. That's going to be basically a precursor to the next Doctor Strange movie. So basically, if you want to okay. get the full story of the Doctor Strange number two, you would have to watch the WandaVision. So that leads into Doctor Strange in the in the multiverse of madness. That comes out May twenty twenty one. 
Right. They said this is supposed to be the first horror film that Marvel is making. So it's supposed to be a scary movie, which is sounds pretty cool. You know, and Wanda Scarlet Witch is going to be in it with Doctor Strange. Nice. Yeah. So, you know, they kind of lead into each other. Um, and it's going to be like, here's the TV show. And then as soon as the TV show's over, boom, here's the movie. You know, and it, it's pretty cool. So, but the big thing is people f- saw multiverse. That is going to open up the world to all the craziness that I think happened in the end game. You know, this person picked up the Tesseract. This did this, this happened, this happened, this happened. Like all these loopholes that people were like, well, this happened. I think this is going to set it up to a lot of it. It's like the what happened to Loki, what happened to Gamara. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, even what happened to Thanos, because Thanos from 2014 went all the way to 2024, you know, so that Thanos never existed in that in that universe. So that universe, you know, the Guardians never formed. Thanos never got the the, the stones. Right. So, you know, all that all that crazy stuff. So there's like, you know, Loki picked up the Tesseract, you know, <coughs> which leads us into the Loki Disney Plus miniseries. So Loki's going to get his own miniseries and it's going to follow the Loki from Endgame, the one that picked up the Tesseract and disappeared. Yeah. It's going to follow him. So it's going to be Loki before he had all his emotional connections with his brother and and all this all his sacrifice he did for Thanos like before he like kind of started becoming good you know it's gonna be Loki straight off of you know Avengers number one you know, right when he crazy. attacked New York yeah so it's gonna be the crazy kind of Loki you know with the Tesseract going around it's, it's gonna be awesome I think and that's coming mm-hmm. spring 2021 which I can't wait for that one that one's gonna be really really cool uh so the, the next one also is also on the Disney Plus, and it's called What If. It's another mini series. <coughs> it's gonna be animated, from what I understand. Um, and a lot of the uh, the people are coming back to voice their own characters, which would be cool. But it's gonna be nice. What What If, and it's gonna be um, it's a comic book series like that that does What If, and it, it's basically is what it is What If this happened? What if this happened? So it's gonna be a lot of What If scenarios. You know, What If. All right. You know, Captain America didn't, you know, get frozen. Or what if this happened, which would be pretty cool. Well, real real quick, I like the what if one. But, however, the Wanda and Vision. The yeah, WandaVision. WandaVision. Just I'm guessing that's name. after. <laughs> I'm guessing that's after Infinity War before Endgame. No, after Endgame. Okay. Uh, my screen froze. Let yeah. me know if we're still alive. We're we're still alive. It looks like. All right. Just then it's my it's the here. CPU heating up. Yeah. Okay. Screen. So now the I'm guessing into Doctor Strange. That's before. It has to be before then. After Endgame. After Endgame. Before. After Endgame. After Endgame. Then so Falcon Winter Soldier is after Endgame. Shang Chi. I don't know if it is. Uh, WandaVision is after Endgame. Doctor Strange is after Endgame. Loki is technically after Endgame. But Vision is gone after Endgame. Mm. Yes. That's that's the <laughs> <laughs> that's the what if I guess. No, well, yeah. Um, Paul Bettany was there at the at Comic Con, and he's uh-huh. like, he's like. And he said something stupid. He's like, "Well, my character's still dead." You know, like, okay, you know, they're gonna bring him back, right? You know, in the in the comic book, he 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 dies as well, and they bring him back. And when they bring him back, he's black and white. He doesn't have color, and he's like a soulless machine, which is awesome. You know, so I wonder if that's what they're gonna do. Hmm. Because I believe everything was backed up. Um, if I'm not mistaken, in the uh, Wakanda. With me. Oh, like it's back up, uh, back up on. Uh, uh, his so, his, the, yeah, his uh, oh, stone. Yeah, I forgot about. I actually forgot about that. Well, yeah. they didn't really say it. She was working on it, <coughs> on disconnecting it. But I feel, right. I feel like she's smart enough to, to has, do as a backup. Yeah, to do something smart like that. So yeah, I, I, Shuri, you know, Shuri is really smart. I can, I can definitely see something like that. Right. Um. But yeah, you know, they're, they're, I mean, just the name Wandavision. They're gonna bring him back, or unless. He implanted in her head. I don't know. You know, I don't know. Oh. 
you know, but I, I think Some... I think I think yours is probably the probably more correct. I th- I think Jerry did something. She's gonna bring him back. Uh, right. That's a good. That's a good. I think the best bet to say right now. That's what's gonna happen. Um. So yeah, they're, they're it's, except for Black Widow and Eternals. Um, they're all after Endgame. You know, because remember they're going forward. This is the next phase. This is right. phase four. You know. So Eternals, Eternals is going to play a big role into everything because they're going back to the beginning of time, basically, and they're immortal. So they're going to probably do something later on in phase five or six, and they're going to do something crazy. So we'll keep going. There's two more left. (coughs) So, yeah, what if it's going to be on Disney Plus? Another Disney Plus is going to be Hawkeye, which is that one I'm kind of interested in. Yeah. So he trains. So I think it's supposed to be in between. Um, Infinity War and Endgame, from what I from what I assume. Oh. So, and he's training the next Hawkeye. He's training uh, Katie Bishop, which is uh, his daughter. It, I'm guessing in the comic book, I'm not sure. I think it was his daughter, but I think this one it's not. But it follows a comic book, and I guess they're gonna follow it pretty good or closely. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, he's gonna train this female called Katie Bishop, and she becomes the next Hawkeye, and she becomes like uh, the Young Avenger because there's like the Teen Titans. Of right. the, of the Marvel, you know the Young Avengers, you know, so they get they get all these kids, you know, to make a superhero team of kids. So yeah, that's gonna be on Disney Plus. That's also a mini series. All these are mini series, and then uh, <coughs> the last one they announced, or for Phase Four, is uh, Thor. Thor number four. <coughs> it's called Thor: Love and Thunder. That's funny. So Hemsworth is coming back, obviously. Uh, T- Tessa Thompson, who was Valkyrie in Ragnarok, she's coming back, and Natalie Portman is coming back. Oh, Portman, sweet. Natalie Portman's coming back. Uh, which I was kind of surprised because she was talking a lot of crap about like I don't want to do it. It's like beneath me, you know. So I was like, I'm like, oh, why is she coming back? So Taika Waititi, there's directing. no offers, I guess. <laughs> yeah, wait, wait, wait till I tell you why, why, why I think she took it. So Taika Waititi, who did Ragnarok. Is directing this one. He's directing and writing this one. <clears throat> so as they announce uh, um, Natalie Portman onto the stage, Taika like bends down and hands her the hammer, and she grabs the hammer and like raises it. And they said, so in this one, she's gonna become Thor. She's gonna become Lady Thor, like in the comic books. Nice. So I was like, oh, you're coming back because you're gonna be. A big, a big the, role. The biggest role. You, you're going to be the main <laughs> character in this movie. You're like, oh. <clears throat> you know, so it's going to be interesting. Like, I don't know. Because they, 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 can't, they, can't, they, they can't just get rid of Hemsworth. He wants to keep doing it. You know, and he is Thor, you know. Yeah. So in the comic book, she becomes Thor because he, I forgot why, but she becomes Thor and she has cancer. And being Thor allows her to keep the cancer um at bay. So So there's a there's a little bit of uh, Iron Man in there because remember the only reason he had that on his chest before yeah. everything got better is to make sure all the shrapnel doesn't go to his lungs or his heart, I think, or something like yeah. that. Yeah. 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 So I mean I don't they might not go that route. I don't know. We'll we'll see. It's but the 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 logo of it is really cool. It's very eighties uh like love and thunder and the thunder looks like uh that um like i don't know it looks it looks very like retro-y looking uh kind of like logo Mm -hmm. and i'm like uh, taika does awesome movies so yeah i really like ragnarok ragnarok is awesome he does a lot of comedy ones that are really cool he was supposed to do this like uh hitler comedy musical i don't know if that's gonna keep going um but yeah, he was he he was supposed to do Akira, which is an anime. He mm-hmm. was supposed to do, I think, uh, a live action Akira, and right. I, I guess it got held up. So he's like, "All right, I'm gonna go do Thor then," and then that just got like announced like last minute, literally. <coughs> so that's funny, yeah. interesting too. I'm I'm just glad he's on board, and I believe Gunn is gonna make a movie. He he came back to do uh, 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 Guardians of the Galaxy number three. Three, right? Number three. As so Guardians of the Galaxy, I believe he, he said Thor no. Said it. He said <laughs> Thor said it. James yeah. Gunn is like, I am not calling that movie that name. You know, he's like, I, it's not, it's not happening. He already said it, it's not happening. You know, 
That's but funny. it's gonna be interesting because at the end of Endgame, Thor is with the Guardians. Mm-hmm. So how how is Thor gonna have his own movie if he's still with the Guardians? So it's gonna be pretty interesting. It might be a whole a multiverse. It might be a universe where Jane Foster is Thor, you know, and Thor never became Thor. You know, they might do that route too. You know, I don't know. Hmm. But they said Valkyrie is gonna be she's gonna be the first openly gay um character. Yeah. You know, she's yeah. like, Oh, uh Valkyrie is the king now and the king needs their queen. You know, I was like, Oh, okay. <laughs> That's funny. So yeah. And and what was what was the one after that? Blade? So yeah. So their Blade doesn't have any any release date. Um that was the biggest by far the biggest announcement was blade that was they did that right at the end um um uh, Mich- oh, i can't pronounce ali what's his name mish 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 michelle michelle is it michelle i don't know ali the guy from green book uh he was in alita what what i just watched um yeah he's gonna be blade and people are kind of like not sure what to uh feel about it they're like is he good is he not good i don't know He's a pretty good actor. I mean, he's a really, really good actor in my book. So I'm, I'm kind of interested to see, see him. Mashallah. Mashallah. I'm, I'm now, now I'm looking for it. Yeah. I know we, I know we talked about it. Earlier. <laughs> you know, before when we did, uh, we were talking about Green Book. Right. So yeah. So he's gonna be, he's gonna be freaking, uh, Blade man. They're bringing back Blade. That's awesome. That I did not expect that. That really. So, but that's gonna be a Phase Five thing. Yeah. Gonna be Phase Five for sure. Um, they already announced it, and then and then as they were doing it, they Kevin Feige. Oh. <laughs> ah. Hold on one sec. So I just got a text from Jessica Mahershala. 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 There you go. Yeah, that's not, that sounds right. <laughs> Thanks, babe. <laughs> yeah, Mah- Mahershala. Mahershala. Ali. That's yeah, funny. He's, he's gonna be. Uh, he's gonna be Blade, which. I don't know, man. I can see him getting a little buff, and and I mean, Blade wasn't like this massive person anyway, but I can see him getting a little build and swinging a sword around and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, he's got big I, shoes I, to fill for sure. Because Denzel Washington was he he was Blade, you know. So was it Blade? Was it uh, Wesley Snipes? Wesley Snipes. I'm sorry. Yeah, Wesley Snipes. <laughs> <Not Wesley. laughs> he's the other action star that does oh, all the other things. Yeah, Wesley Snipes. Well, yeah, he he was really good. I really yeah. enjoyed Wesley Slimes. Um, I think they kind of killed it off after the second one, but the, he was he was good. Yeah, now, the first I, one was amazing. Once again, you know, old versus new. You know, almost with the Lion King, almost the Arthur's Prime. Not bringing it back to that, but they're redoing it. Just uh, them like, hey, just make remake the old ones and bring it on the bandwagon. You know, nah, they, they oh. can't they can't they can't do that they have to integrate it somehow into the universe yeah you know? well yeah they, they they blade they just plop them just plop them oh in. yeah they, that's here's what they a did vampire. right here's a here's a vampire where the mom got killed and sucked by in a in the daytime from another vampire which means he can uh he can walk in the sun the daywalker they they call them yeah, the if i'm mistaken yeah Okay, fine, great. But now there's like, okay, not the only plop them, but here's the story, and here's what's gonna happen. So, I, I like how they put it in. Yeah, I mean, he's gonna be good. Um, a lot of people are like, were like the the one of the like the many rumors was that Wesley Snipes is gonna be in it as the old Blade, and he's handing it down to the new Blade. You know, it's I like would, I was like, I would, ah. I would like to see that. I don't know. That would be amazing. It was like, but then, but then, like, but now you have an older character. But then, like, you would s- kind of say, like, well, then all the old movies are technically part of the universe, you know. But then Ryan Reynolds, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. See, I, I just keep it separate. Keep it separate. You know, yeah. I mean, that's not Washington. Not Denzel. Why, oh my God, um, Wesley Snipes <laughs> probably does need need the work anyway. So. Oh, he hasn't geez. done much lately. Depends on Washington has. <laughs> Washington, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wesley Snipes I, has not. Um, oh, my God. So, yeah, before... You, huh. <laughs> just Wesley Snipes and Lars Fishburne and <laughs> Denzel Washington. 
Oh, jeez. Anyway, uh, Samuel L. Jackson. Uh, well, he's already in it. <laughs> uh, technically, so is Lawrence Fishburne. He was in uh, Ant Man and Wasp. He was uh, uh-huh. he was uh, Goliath. I mean, his character that he played would have been Goliath, you know, because he also got big back in the sixties or whatever. Yes. Um. But yeah. But um. So before you know, everyone's already cheering because they you know they put up the Blade logo. You know, Ali puts the hat on and the other stuff, and then. As they're you know they're about closing, he's like he was like oh you know I wish I had more time you know there's not even enough time for you know Fantastic Four you know and all the mutants he was oh but you know they're coming they're coming and then, and then people, as soon as he said those you know Fantastic Four and mutants people went bonkers man if you watch yeah. if you can like look it up went bonkers because obviously they're talking about Fantastic Four and X Men yes <laughs> so in an interview later he did say that um. So Blade obviously is coming out. They're working on Fantastic Four and they're working on X Men. I think from what a lot of people said is Fantastic Four would come out first. Good, <laughs> you know, they would come out first before X Men, especially X Men. You know, there's just a movie a few weeks ago, so you kind of need to let it. People forget <laughs> the garbage before you give the good stuff. Yeah, you know, but yeah, Fantastic Four. You know, the first one was kind of okay in a really corny, cheesy way. Mm-hmm. Um, the second one was really bad. The remake was horrible, uh, and then um, you know, they had to see you know Marvel got back their 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 two biggest you know story driven you know in, at least in the comic books you know you know they're the first family you know Fantastic Four is the first family considered in Marvel you know and then X Men yeah. you know X Men's got all those crazy um. Things that you know, Deadpool obviously, you know, they're you know that that might even come out before X Men too. <laughs> you know, like that's already an established world, and they're gonna keep. They already said they're keeping Ryan Reynolds. They're keeping that Deadpool. You know, yeah, and they, they, it's gonna yeah, stay they, R. They said they're gonna keep it rated R too, which is awesome. Yeah, that's so, that's good. I like to see that. Yeah, I although the that. P, the PG thirteen one was pretty good. It was a, I, uh, Deadpool <laughs> two PG thirteen. I didn't like. You didn't once like upon it? a bit, yeah, I once, once upon, upon a Deadpool? Deadpool. You didn't like it? Uh, no, they cut it. They cut back a little too much for me. I like the R version. Oh, I yeah. like the Fred Savage. I like the whole remake of a uh, what was the it? Princess uh, Diaries. The pr- Princess yeah, the Princess Diaries. Bride. Yeah. Princess Bride. There you go. Yeah, Princess Diaries. Something. I, I like. I love everything of that, I, but the cutting back part, less blood, less gore. The Good little uh, scenes and all that. Yeah. No. Give it. Give it all. Throw it all in. Yeah. And, I mean, I agree too. But I think if if we would have never got Deadpool two, and we would have only got Once Upon a Deadpool, I would have been happy with that. I was like, yeah, cool. You know, they could do a PG thirteen. You know, and I, I, it one it was a cash grab, and two it was showing Disney like, hey, we can play nice too, you know, <laughs> which was cool. But. Right. You know, Disney was like, nah, we're probably going to keep it rated R, which is the right call, I think. Um, uh, yeah, man. I think that's, my, that's about it. Yeah, it has to be because my everything's frozen now. It's Every, crazy. Just, uh, yeah. I can hear you. So, my, I'm, my screens are froze, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. So I got to get an AC in here or something. Yeah. Yeah. But, but yeah. yeah, man, that's uh, a bunch of Comic-Con. And then obviously Marvel took it all. I think today was the last day. Day four, Sunday was the last day. Yeah. Nothing they usually major. Run four days. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing major happened that I know today. Um, I didn't read too much about it. Um, but yeah, that was Comic Con in a, in a nutshell, more or less. Um, if 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 Armando was good at animating, I would have him like have him like animate like a little picture of you. In that little side box, <laughs> <laughs> that'd be that'd be funny. You gotta you gotta figure out a way. Yeah, you gotta. Um, but yeah, yeah, that that's about it, man. Some that's, awesome that's exciting. assignments, and they they stole the show. Obviously, you know, been gone for two years, comes back and destroys Comic Con. You know, that, that's yeah. the only thing people are talking about. Um, I'm excited about Marvel stuff. It's gonna be pretty pretty awesome. Mm-hmm. I, I you know they they know how to hit it out of the park for sure. Yeah, it, the, they set their bar very high, so let's hope they keep it up, and yeah. let's hope you know 
Um, there's no disappointments. Yeah. I mean, not I Iron so. Man two disappointment. Iron Man three. Oh, three was three, the worst. You know, yeah. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Let's let's not uh, go there, guys. <laughs> uh, they, so they, Disney, they Plus, Disney Plus is gonna cash in on this because a lot of people are enjoying Marvel. <laughs> oh yeah. So. Yeah, I'm I'm for sure for sure it's supposed to I think coming out uh November around November I think they said of this yeah. year. It's, it's dropping and i am gonna for sure buy a year up front before they start adding all the secret fees and you know you know becoming netflix and now netflix is like 25 dollars a month or something stupid um but yeah so that's coming out this year and i mean you're gonna have especially like with you you have you know a kid mm-hmm. having every disney um movie like at your disposal instantly is yeah. like that was like come on that that alone is worth it you know it's like Here's all these like great classics. Watch whatever you want. You know. Speak, speaking of classics, I think on our next podcast we should talk about the Disney movies that are coming out. Um, they they we already made Aladdin, all Lion the, King, all the remakes. But now there's the yeah now there's the Little Mermaid and Milan. Yep, yep. So uh, I mean, and there's a lot to big... talk about both of those. Yeah. So uh, let's do that one. Our next cast. Yeah, that sounds good. Let's do yeah you Disney. Know, uh, Disney remakes. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's do that. So, for sure. um, geez. uh, so we're, we should be doing it Thursday mornings, right? Is that what we agreed on? Or is it Wednesday yeah, if, mornings? If, well, we can do either or. Okay. We'll just find out. Okay. So, yeah, stay, we'll, stay tuned, stay tuned. guys. Stay tuned. It's, it's either going to be Wednesday or, or, uh, Thursday morning. Um, yeah. yeah and that's a perfect segue into, it, we're probably announce it on Facebook. Um, yes, we so will. please, we're gonna try to keep more of a, a schedule at least the rest of this month and going into August. We'll try to keep a schedule, you know, so yes. you guys don't uh, miss. So follow us on Twitter, follow us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram. You know, we'll post all our updates and our schedule there. And uh, yeah, we'll talk about Disney next time. This time was all yep. Comic Con and all the great stuff with Comic Con. We oh, we didn't even talk about all the Star Wars crap. That's another one. We'll leave that for December <laughs> when Star Wars comes out. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, that is it for episode 26, our Comic-Con talk. Thanks for tuning in. And as always, you can check us out on all social media platforms and get, stay up to date with our schedules. Uh, social media at Did We Just Become Best Friends Podcast or check out DWJ BBF Podcast. Hit those subscription buttons, those bell notifications, those likes, thumbs up, share, Everything you can do, help us out, please, please, please. Uh, and give us a call or text at 872-225-2404. And we'll see you guys in the next episode. Yep. All right. Have a, have a good one, guys. And let's enjoy and start getting uh, planning Disney. <laughs> Disney, Disney, mm-hmm. Disney. All the yep, time. Yep, yep, yep. The, the rulers of the world. <laughs> oh, Jesus. The mouse. <laughs> it's going to happen. All right. <laughs> pretty soon. <laughs> All right. See you guys. All right. See you guys later. Bye. Bye.